Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this high cozy vacuum sealer. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So on the front here, it says one press to vacuum and seal. Auto locks the bag. On the side here, it says fast vacuuming, integrated design, adjustable sealing time, removable drip tray. And here it says for meat, seafood, snacks, vegetables, fruit, and beans. So let's get this out. Okay, so here it is. So we have a contact card here. Here's the user manual. So you want to read through all the warnings and such in here. So here's a product diagram. It has a screen, power port, control panel, heating element silica gel bar, upper seal ring, roll compartment, exterior vacuum port, cutter, seal channel, lower ring, and seal line. So here are the controls. It has a power button. When you press it, it will display zero. Press it again to turn it off. So this has strong and soft suction. So soft would be for things like chips, tea leaves, other fragile items. Then we have dry and moist vac. Dry would be things like nuts. Moist would be for things like fruits. Then you can press plus or minus to adjust the seal time. It has a seal button, canister button, and manual button. And we have instructions on how to make vacuum bags. So I'll go over that. You can also seal things in a mason jar with this, with the attachment. It comes with the hose, and then we have operation guidelines, notes, has a removable tray, and some troubleshooting. So let's take a closer look at this. So we have the display, we have the buttons here. So these are not clicking, so they are touch buttons. Here we have the vacuum port on the side. Power is on the left side, and then we have rubber feet on the bottom. Max power rating is 130 watts. So I'll open this up. Here we have that vacuum hose for mason jars. Here's the power cord. Power cord is around 40 inches, so I'll plug that in on the left. So it comes with this tray here. You can take this out and clean it. There's a gasket here and here, so that presses against the bag. And this is the heating element to seal it. We also have a cutter here, and this comes with 10 bags and then a roll of bags. So let me actually use the roll. You can make your own bags here. Okay, so the roll of bags can go in here, and if we want to make a bag, we'll pull it out to the length we want. And then there's a slide cutter here, so I'm going to press down the bag and then I'll pull that slide cutter across, and here we have a bag, so now I'll make sure I plug this in. So then I'll take the bag, I'll place it on the heating element, and I'll put it right under the seal ring, and I'll close this. I'll press power to turn it on, and I'll press seal. So I can pull this out now, and you can see we sealed this edge. Now I can open this up. So I'm going to make a snack pouch. I've got some peanuts here. Or they're honey roasted peanuts. And I've got some almonds. So here they are. Now I'll open this up. This time I want to make sure the opening is in the seal here. like so, and I'll close that. Now it says for better seal performance, you want one third of space open at the top. I'll turn it on, and then I want to do vac seal, so I'll do dry or moist. So since these are nuts, these are dry, I'll hit dry. It sucked the air out. And now it's sealing it. And now it's done. So I can open this up. And I can pull these out. And now it's kind of stiff because it's pulled the air out. So another thing I like to do is we could use this here. It's a little easier with scissors. Is I'll put a little cut mark here on each side. Just a little one like so, to make this easier to tear open later. So this is a little wider than I would typically like. So what I can do is seal this side, cut it down the middle, seal it again twice, and then make even smaller little snack pouches. So that's the High Cozy Vacuum Sealer. I found this very easy to use. It has a magnetic latch, so you don't have to press down on it, which is really nice. I like that it stores the bags in there and has the cutter, so it makes it very compact. So if this is sitting on your countertop, you don't have a lot of extra accessories around. You can just open it up, 
pull the bag out and get to work. It also has that removable tray which makes it easy to clean. So a vacuum sealer like this is good for preserving meats and such. It can help it from getting freezer burned. As I showed in this video, my preference is making snacks. So there are two reasons to do that. It can be a lot cheaper to make your own snacks. So if you're going on a road trip, you can get a bunch of snacks prepared ahead of time and you don't have to buy them at convenience stores. You can also tailor them to your tastes. So if you're making a nut mix or a snack mix, you can put in exactly what you want. And then suctioning out that air makes it more compact. So you don't have a bunch of air in here, it takes up less space. So if you're going hiking, you can make these up compact them down, put them in your bag, and they're not going to take up a lot of room. These are also waterproof. Now going back to meats, you can also vacuum seal meat, then you can use it for sous vide. And that's where you cook it right in the bag. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.